Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here. Welcome to my craft room. Man, it feels like it's been forever since we've been together. Let's get my computer set up here so I can watch for any comments. Okay, woman, be quiet. There we go. Now we'll see if anybody's going to join me. Let's get myself fixed here. I'm straight. Good to go. All right. Looking good. Oh, man. It's been one of those days, you know. I think I'll start off with a cup, a little swig of my tea from my new favorite mug. This is a corksicle mug, and I don't know what the difference of a corksicle mug is, except that this one's kind of cool because it has Minnie Mouse on it. <laughs> Yep, mini mouse. Apparently it's full moon out there, which explains why it was it's been so weird today. All right. Well, let's see what we can create with this. Mm. So, what's the date? It's 14th. So we've got two weeks left for till celebration is done. And this is one of the this is one of the free celebration things. Hi Carmen, that you can get with a minimum hundred and twenty dollar order. So just let me get the paper. Because this paper is spectacular. So there's what the paper is. Hello, Peggy. So it uses these gorgeous colors, but just look at how beautiful this paper is. I love it. And I've been hoarding it because, you know, you only get one package and there's no opportunity to buy the package again. I can get another stamp set in package. Hi, Connie. Hi, Holly. I can get another um, package of paper and another stamp set, but I don't know. I think I've been hoarding this one a little bit. Okay, so this is, um, I've been doing a series on layouts that are versatile. It's the word I'm trying to, my brain is not working apparently. Um, versatile layouts. So that you can use the same layout and then case yourself and use different paper or different colors or different um, stamp sets. And this is one of those layouts that lends itself very well to all different sorts of things. Christmas, Valentine's, Easter, birthday, sympathy, all of them. And the inside is, on this one, is quite plain. Just a couple of the stamps on there and the envelope. But the only die cutting is this from the Hippo and Friends dies. So, yeah, it's really, it's easy. So if you had to make up a whole bunch, you could make them up in no time at all. Set up a production line. So it's a um, thick basic white card base. Five and a quarter by four for the inside and five and a quarter by four for the outside. Oh, except I made that a little bit smaller. Apparently, you can put five and a quarter by four, but this is five and an eighth by three and seven eight. This one is going to be for cutting out the die. Let me get the, the recipe so I'm actually reading the proper sizes. So this one is three and a half by four. And then I have a piece that is two by five eighths for the sentiment. The designer paper is two by three and seven eighths. And I'm going to use different paper tonight than I did on the original one. Doesn't matter what paper you use. I've done some embossing on this. So this is going to go on here like that. Like it's really self-explanatory, right? So on this one, I used the 
um, tasteful textile embossing folder. But I've discovered, rediscovered the bark embossing folder and it makes a really nice background for a card. So I thought, let's use that one tonight instead of Tasteful Textile because you've all seen that over and over and over and over again. The stamp set is a friendly hello stamp set. And I've got a mask here because I thought instead of the bird, I thought I would stamp this and then add some sprigs or something on there. I don't quite know how this card is going to go. We're kind of going to let her fly and see what happens. The die cut is from Hippo and Friends. And it's the largest one, so I'll need that. And then I added champagne rhinestones. So we'll just start. What do you think about me switching it up and using the, the birds in, or the flowers instead of the bird? Let me know what you think while I do some die cutting. I'm going to cut this one out. There's not much to this one. And if you don't have um, a die cutting machine with you, like if you're on holidays and you bring some designer paper and some white and a stamp set and a cutter with some adhesives, that's all you need. And then just add in some beautiful um, Stampin' Blends and Memento Ink, and you're good to go. Oh, good. Thanks, Carmen. So you don't have to take 300 different colors. Just, just the white. <laughs> it's not Friday. I can do what I want. Ah, oh, thanks, Connie. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So this is the, the piece that I'm going to put... I think I'll put the stripes sideways like that. I know it's different than this one because I always put an X on my inside piece. Just if they're different sizes, just so I don't get too mixed up. So we had, we had our grandchildren for most of the day today. Their parents are out of town. So I went just before lunch and Hi, Connie. <laughs> um, I went just before lunch and picked them up. And then the oldest one wanted to go to Canadian Tire. So I dropped him with Grandpa because I don't want to go to Canadian Tire. And the little one and I came home and we went for a... He went for a bike ride and I went for a walk. It was lovely. It was gorgeous out there. Nice and warm. You say my comment? I can see your comment. Yep. I can. I can, I can. Okay, so this is going to go on here. Like that. And then... Oh, good. That's awesome. That's going to go... Yeah, I don't know why Facebook is so funny in it. Sometimes it lets people comment and sometimes it doesn't. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know. And I really have to be careful when I'm like when I put out a question or you guys respond to one of my memes or something. I have to be careful that I don't do a lot of answering all of your comments because they've been putting people into Facebook jail lately just for commenting on comments, even if it's in a private group. I don't get it. I don't. I'm wondering if maybe we want to put some twine around this because this is going to go like this but we could wrap some twine around there and have a little bow over here and we could color it with the pale pale papaya um stampin blends if I get the white stuff what do you think colors in here this is the fans one nope that's not going to work should I go and get, I don't know why I got so much of that. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I know it's weird. It's like, it's a private group. You should be able to comment as much as you want. 
But Mr. Zuckerberg says, nope, you can't. Oh, yes, let's put a bow on there. Oh, ooh, ooh, or at least a knot. So this is the, um, what, what ribbon is this? This is the cotton ribbon combo pack that goes with the um, New Horizons suite. Okay, let's do some stamping. Do some stamping. Do, 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 do. Okay, maybe I'll put this one this way. See, this one I have with, it's this orientation, but you can do it this way too. And I think that's the way I'm going to do it with the flowers on it. Or ribbon, yeah. Twine would be fine. It would be pretty and ribbon and, oh, maybe we should put twine and ribbon. <gasps> that would be cool. Okay, I'm gonna ink up my flowers. And I'm going to get my dirty paper out. And this. I was making a template for my designer paper the other day. Uh-oh. Shoot. You can't see that mung, right? Maybe if I put flowers this way. Wait. Get it right. Put the flowers on there like that. Hi, Valerie. You're not late. You're only late if I'm done. All right. Oh, those flowers are so pretty. All right. Now, now I'm going to color them in pale papaya. But I'm thinking... Does this fit this way? No, this fits this way. I'm thinking I'm going to put some um, stemmy things on. This stemmy thing. In black. I'll we'll put one in there. So I was up late last night creating with uh, what was I creating with? Hang on. Oceanfront. Have you guys got Oceanfront? Oh my god, I was having so much fun with it. It's a great stamp set. Not one that I was going to get until I discovered how fun it is. Uh oh, sneeze. Hang on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There it is. It's over with now. So this is the one I was creating with last night. And then I used it with mm, Seize the Day. And I used it with, what was that one with the lighthouse? Sailing Home. Oh my. You wait till you see those cards. Okay, so now I'm going to pull my... Oh, yes. Oh, I like it. What do you think? What do you think? Is that cool? Okay, let me get my white twine. Hello, Janet. All right. There's white twine. I got a little tiny bit of black left. I'm just going to let that dry. Hey, let's see what we should put on this. Let's put the... Which side do we have up? Should we do the bumpy side or the subtle side? Well, I'm putting adhesive on. Tell me. Bumpy side or subtle side? Put adhesive on this. I'm going to put it on, and then we're going to play with the ribbon and see what we can do with the ribbon. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day to you too, Janet. Yes, it is. It this I don't know. This stamp set is really pretty and Ooh. Ooh. Look at that how it looks pretty no matter which way you put it. 
bumpy side up. I um I'm kind of sad that I've only got two weeks left to play with it, and then I, well, you guys won't. Bumpy side up. Bumpy side. Okay, it's going bumpy side up. Um, you guys will have a lot longer to play with it, but I can't showcase it after the 28th of February. So I've been trying to come up with some cards for the, the free class. And I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to do it with bleach stamping because I've been trying all different colors of stamping up cardstock. And because it's so well made, it doesn't have a lot of underlying colors in it if you know what I mean because when you bleach you bleach the top layer off and then you have what's left underneath yeah it's not working very well so if you don't mind I think I might just change the the theme of the free class and we'll do we'll do something like this where it's a versatile set um versatile layout Oh man, the words just are not there tonight. Versatile layout, and then you guys can play along with whatever you have. Because the bleaching thing, like, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you, because I did do it. Like, I have been playing with it. We'll leave this one to the end, because that's the only one that works. So this is crumb cake. That's bleach. This is flirty flamingo. I think that's bleach so that one would work this one not so much that one has bleach stamping on it you can't even see it this one works but it's kind of ugly this one um, this is cinnamon cider and it has pink underneath but it's so light that you can't really see it this is early espresso yeah you can't see it can't see this one this one this is just jade and it's got blue underneath it but you can't see it this is Sahara sand and it's kind of got like a pinky white underneath and you can't see it this is soft suede kind of dull and boring this is misty moonlight and it's got gray underneath quite ugly this is black there's nothing the only one that worked half decent was soft succulent. So I was able to pull all the color out and color the flowers on top of it. But like there's some playing with the colors that I was doing, but it's not enough to do a class on. We want to do, unless you want to just pull out a bunch of your cardstock and just play with it, but then that's kind of weird. Yeah. They are pretty, but they're so subtle that they're hard to see. So I'm thinking that I'm going to scrap that idea. And we'll just play with some layouts. Maybe I'll just play with the Hello Friendly stamp set again. I'm tying a bow, but I don't know whether I'm going to have a bow. Tying a bow. So what do you think? Is that okay if I scrap the idea of bleach stamping? I'll show you how to do it one day, but I don't know. It's just, it's not exciting me right now. And if it doesn't excite me, then I can't really create with it because it's boring. Okay, so we can have, can have a, a bow on there like that. Or... Or, I don't know, I don't think this is going to, yeah, it will be fun, you know, it'll be fun. And I haven't got, because today's the 14th, and it's, I only got like a week and a half. <laughs> a week if I want to give you time to prepare your kits. What do you think? Do you like that bow? Or do you want to do a? Just a knot instead of a bow. Or 
scrap that, color some twine, and wrap it around a couple of times. Maybe that's what we'll do. Let's just scrap the ribbon and we'll do we'll do some twine. Okay, let me know. Twine or ribbon? I think at least three of these. And I can either do it white twine or we can do um, colored twine. Like I said, I have the original card, but I wanted to do something different with this stuff. So, okay, so there's what, let's just move that over to the side a bit more. Oops, that's too far. There we go. Bring that down. I don't want to tie it too tight because then I can't get it undone. Okay, ribbon or twine? Oh, I got two twines. Twine, twine, twine. I'm, I'm liking the twine too. I think that's cute. Okay, so let's color this. Let me get that out of the way. I don't need that no more. This is pale papaya. I like doing these flowers this way so that you just kind of feather them out. I don't know why. It just, I like, don't like them solid colored. I like them. Oh, everybody's voting for twine. Yay! Get some dark here and get some right down the edge and where those lines are. Right there and a little bit up there. Yeah, so hubby's gone to take the kids home. As their parents are not, not home yet. They are on their way. Another hour and they'll be home. But the grand puppies are probably in desperate need of a pee by now. They have been peed a couple of times this afternoon, so it's not like we've left them completely on their own. All right, get some color on those. So I'll find a couple of layouts and um, I'll post the, the recipes for them. And then you can just use whatever paper you have. Oh, Janet. We ask all the time. So go into, log into the website, because you're a demonstrator. Log into the website. Go to business resources and sandbox and put it in there. We ask all the time. It was a matter of warehouse space, I do believe, the reason they stopped carrying them in singles. Oh, these are so pretty. I put those in. I put that suggestion in every time a customer comments to me that they wish blends were singles. Eight. Get the last ones done, and then I want to put, I want to put the the dots on there too because I love the dots. You know me and dots. I'm all about the dots, dots and winky. Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have colored this with winky instead of blends. Oh well, too late. Too late. Started buying getting stuff ready for the the trailer today 
and we checked and the day we go out there's no there's no um, blockages shutdowns closures whatever you call them there we are yeah it's usually the light you're right it is usually the light okay so let's put some dots oh I didn't get them out uh oh uh oh put some dots on there Um, I have not ordered your Horizon Paper Pumpkin Kit yet, Valerie, because I'm waiting for them to um, do the payment run for the February one so that I know I'm getting you the, the proper one. But there's no panic. I have until the 10th of um, March to get it for you. But it's on my list, and as soon as I see the payments go through... For the February one, I will get it in there. There's a lot of interest in that paper pumpkin kit. It's going to, um, co it coordinates with our New Horizons bundle. Oh, okay, I'm I'm feeling the need to put some dots on the flowers, like that. Ooh, I like that. Oh, look, isn't that gorgeous? Here, let me see if I can get it to focus on it for you. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay, I need a, I need a color for the center. I need a color for the center of the flower. <laughs> yep, I will do it. Sometimes I do forget though, so never stop reminding me because yeah, it'll always be an issue with my memory. I'm thinking yellow. Need some yellow in there. Let's try some dark so saffron. Oh yeah. Just enough to get it a little bit of color. This saffron is really not a very dark color at all. Hmm. Where's the paper that I cut this out of? Oh, apparently Cameron's been in the chocolate supply. Look, but I found in my garbage. Cameron's been eating chocolates again. Yeah, see, it's, I don't know. I think that's not dark enough. Let's try this one. Oh, that'll be a little bit better. He's funny. Always make sure. He's the only one in the family that can eat chocolate or sugars. So I always make sure I have special chocolates for Cameron. Okay. Mm, there's the flower. That way, I think. Bring the rest of my supplies back here. I haven't cut the string off yet. And I'm thinking this way, like that. That'll be down there. And then cannot. Hmm. Where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where is my sentiment piece? Come on, I put it right there. Where did it go? Oh, it's hiding. Thanks, Carmen. He does put the papers in the garbage because he's hiding the evidence. <laughs> he's so funny. He's a cute kid. Okay, so there we go. There's that there and this there and then that. I'm thinking that needs to be a bow, though, instead of just a, a knot. That's why I haven't tied it very tight so that I can untie it and make it longer and we'll do a little bow okay pull it 
bit more. So I'll have enough to do a bow. Get my ribbon scissors. So tell me, do you like it when I have a project ready to go and we just make it? Or do you like it when I have a project and we kind of case it and do something different? Do you like things ready to go or do you like things to be spontaneous, spur of the moment and let's see what we can make if we do this? Sometimes I just don't want to make the same card again. Okay, so I'm gonna, let's tie a, a knot in there. Tie that nice and tight, Try the knot. There we go. Both, oh, okay then. Okay, let's spread this out on one side, but not on the other side. I can switch it up, keep it happy, keep it exciting. Sometimes I like the, I really love the card and it's only the first time I made it. So I want to make it exactly the same again. And then other times, like tonight, when I've made this layout four or five times. Okay, why are you not tying properly? Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm going to have, I'm going to have a boat issue tonight. I can just see it. Let's try it again. Yeah, so the, the cards I made yesterday, you'll get exactly the same eventually. With only doing... Oh, come on. With only doing one live a week now, um, I, they're going to be spread out. <laughs> oh my gosh okay I'm going to put it on the card and then I'm going to tie it maybe that's what the issue is okay is that good where it's going to be let's get some adhesive on this and is it tight enough yep so if it wasn't tight enough just pull it down and put some tear and tape on there and then pull this up and put tear and tape on there and it pulls up any of the if you've got your um Ribbon is loose. All right, tear and tape. Speaking of which, hang on. Whoops. I agree, Leanne. I absolutely agree. It is too bad. But it is what it is. And every year we have stuff like that. Okay. Now let's put a little bit here because it's a little bit short. Take my liner off my tear and tape, maybe. Apparently I'm going to be liner challenged tonight too. Come on. There we go. Yay. Okay. Card base. Nope, that's not it. This is it. Opening which way? Yep. And put it on here. Like that. Oh, that's so pretty. I love these soft colors. Now let's see if I can do a bow. We'll see. Not where that went. And then I on Friday I got in the ladybug bundle. And I have not had a chance to play with that yet either. And what was the oh and the robots. Oh my god, those robots are so cute! Okay, it is what it is.
apparently my bows are not going to be good bows tonight. But hey, it tied. So I'm happy about that. There we go. All right. Let's just... I didn't get my tails even, but that's okay. Nobody will know. Don't tell anybody. Okay, let's put some adhesive on this. But I only want it on on parts of it because I don't want it to be where I have the twine. There we go. That's that one. Now it's going to sit right about there. So did you guys have a good weekend? Do anything exciting? Nothing exciting happened here. Because I was still in quarantine on Friday, so we didn't have our our weekly family dinner. Ted and I did, though. We had buck snorts, and it was really, really good. Okay. And then he worked Sunday. And he was working today. Okay, sentiment. But I'm 20%. I've started my new challenge. So the new challenge is I'm walking the Amalfi Coast. So that's the, the southern coast of Italy. It's down around the toe of the boot. You know, Italy is kind of like this. Well, it's down here. It's the southern, around the, I guess, the bottom of the toe of the boot, the sole of the boot. It's where all the ritzy, the ritzy bitsy piece people go. We didn't get there when we were in Italy because um, we just couldn't make the trains work. Because, of course, over there you'd do everything by train, right? We had passes and we could we could go anywhere we wanted. It was really quite fun to travel that way. Of course, Hubby loved it because it was a train. But we never did get to the Amalfi Coast, so that's for our next trip. But now I'm walking it with my Conqueror Challenge. I don't remember how long it is. It's like a hundred and... I think it's just over a hundred kilometers and I'm 20% there already. So they give you a, an estimated time frame that you should, oops, that you should do it in. And every so far along the walk, the walk, they have, I'm trying to get this straight. They have check-in points. I think it's at 20, 40, 60, and 80%. Um, you can, when you sign up for these challenges, you can sign up to either plant a tree, a real tree, or you can um, pull 10 bottle, plastic bottles out of the ocean. Well, last time and this time I planted trees, so I planted another tree today. It was quite fun. This one is really being bad. Okay. Wink of Stella. Next, because you know, it's Wink of Stella. I really like it with those freckles on the, the flowers. Those are kind of cool. There we go. Wink of Stella. Now the bling. It's a conqueror challenge. C O N Q U E R O R. Conqueror. Um, I'll find it on my computer when we're done, and I'll show it to you. Okay, let's put some. Let's put some blingy on here. That one needs to have a home there. And I think this one needs to have a home here. And then 
that one needs to have a home right there. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love these champagne rhinestones. I'm so hoping that they don't go away on the 3rd of May. So in April, beginning of April, I think around the beginning of April, will the um, retiring list will come out. So if you are still interested in getting some of the um, in colors that are leaving, hang on, let me get them right here. So these are the in colors. So these are the new ones, but all of these ones will be leaving as of the 2nd of May. So if you haven't got yours yet or you need to get re-inkers for them, I would suggest that you do it sooner rather than later. Well, that's that's interesting, Valerie. I walk outside. I am... Um, I've been walking. It doesn't matter whether it's raining or snowing. I've been outside. It's been good because it's getting me off of my butt. I'll just run a line of these beautiful flowers up there. That's the inside. Yes, I saw that, Valerie. It was a good idea to get them now. Because when the retiring list comes out and people go, oh, no, they're leaving. Like they haven't known for an entire year, that two years when they'll be leaving. Um, then they panic and they sell out. And historically, they've gone just like that. Oh, did you get that? That was a good one. See, I don't do them good all the time. Okay, put the inside inside. Put the inside inside. So you don't, you don't have to be, for these challenges, you don't have to do walking. You can do any kind of exercise. It doesn't matter what you choose. You tell them how many kilometers you've done and away you go. You know that, that bow is going to bother me. Let's see if I can make it a little bit better. Pull it down and then pull it back out again. Let's see what happens. There we go. There we go. There's our card. Isn't that pretty? Same layout. Two different colored things. <laughs> I know. Use that paper like what are we hoarding these these things for? I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, so just let me pull up that website. Oops, I don't know what it's doing. The Conqueror Challenges. Okay, I'm just going to take you down so that I can show you this website. So this is the website. And these are all the challenges. Now they... Let's just sort them by shortest distance. So the Angor Wat is the first one. Now that's in uh, Cambodia, do you believe? This is the first one I did. I wanted to start with a little one. And now I'm doing the Amalfi Coast. Oh, 56 kilometers. So that, that's, it's not too bad. My friend Leanne just did the Mount Fuji one, her and her hubby. And now they're doing Road to Hannah. But you get, you get these gorgeous medals at the end. So look at that, look at that medal. Let's go down here. See, there's the front of it and the back of it. Is that gorgeous or what? And I just got notification today that mine, mine shipped. So I chose this one because of the 
the metal. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And the last one I did, when I did the English Channel one, this one, look at that. It has a an octopus on the back of it. Ooh, that cool. Yeah, they're fun. They're they're just a way to get you out of your house and walking or exercising of some sort or other. That's what they're for. And of course, it's nice to have the option to plant a tree or get some plastic out of the ocean and well, good for you, Valerie. See, you could have been doing that one of the really high ones and get the metals for the... There's some... Um, let's see, what's the highest? There is thousands, one that has thousands of miles. So the Appalachian Trail is 3,167 kilometers. And the Pacific Crest Trail, which is in the U.S., is 4,000 kilometers. Cascade and Sierra Nevada mountain ranges. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's just a little bit of fun. They're, well, they tell you 63 days or something, but um, I think it's more you tell them how long you think it's going to take and then you can also you also on the the app you can see where you are yeah they're fun so that's what i'm doing in my spare time when i'm not in my craft room and not sleeping <laughs> i'm walking the amalfi coast one day i'll get there in real life one day all right, ladies. So there's our cards. I hope you've enjoyed this journey. Um, and I hope that you have discovered another layout that you can use. Now, this can be um, the front of a fun fold very, very, very easily. If you open this up, you could have like do it the other way and, and open it up and have one of those explosive you know, those flingy out pop out cards, you could do um, open it and have an insert and have a little thing flip up and have a bunch of flowers on there. Like just because the front of this one is very plain on the inside doesn't mean you can't use this layout for a fun fold or a technique. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and I hope you will join me on Friday night because, hang on, get my book out so I know what I'm talking about. Yes. So I have, we're going to play with this bundle again on Friday night and I have a sketch challenge that we're going to use. And we will um, come up with something equally as gorgeous on Friday night. Enjoy the rest of your week. And don't forget that I post all the time. Just because I'm not live five times a week anymore doesn't mean I'm not posting pictures and cards and stuff. You will eventually get to see every card, well, almost every card that I make in my craft room. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. I'll see you soon in my craft room. Stampin' smiles and bye for now.